iCloud has been around for a while now, and Apple has really turned it into a robust offering with all sorts of features and uses. In this video, we are going to look at 15 different tips and use cases to help you get the most out of iCloud. First, let's look at iCloud Photo Library. To upload all the pictures and videos you take from your iPhone, go to Settings and then Photos, and make sure iCloud Photos is toggled on. Once it's activated, all your photos and videos will be uploaded to iCloud so you can access them on all your devices. This will use your iCloud storage and will probably be the main reason you want to upgrade your iCloud storage amount, which I'll cover later on. On the Mac, open the Photos app and go to the Preferences menu. Make sure the iCloud Photos option is on and you will again see the option to download all your photos to your device or to optimize your Mac storage. Whenever you get a new Apple device, backups can save you a ton of time. To backup an iOS device to iCloud, go to the iCloud menu in Settings by tapping on your Apple ID at the top of the Settings app. Next, tap on iCloud and scroll down until you see Backups. Make sure this is turned on. You also have the option here to go ahead and back up your device immediately. Apple does not currently support backing up a Mac through iCloud. I imagine this is because a Mac backup is typically much larger than an iOS backup. However, Apple does encourage backing up your documents and data through iCloud on your Mac as discussed in this video. Family sharing is another great iCloud feature you can manage in the Settings app. Family sharing allows you to share a number of things with other family members using Apple devices. For example, purchased apps and iCloud storage are both things my wife and I share all the time. In the iCloud menu, there are options to manage and set up family sharing. If you subscribe to Apple Music, you use a service called iCloud Music Library, although you may not be too familiar with it. iCloud Music Library is a feature which makes all your music sync between your Apple devices. This includes artists, playlists, and the recommendations in the For You section in Apple Music. If you never got on the streaming bandwagon and still maintain an iTunes library of music you've collected and purchased from iTunes over the years, Apple still offers a service called iTunes Match, which uses iCloud Music Library to make your library available on all your devices. You can sign up for iTunes Match in the iTunes app on your Mac. While it still hasn't gained the popularity of services like Dropbox or OneDrive, iCloud Drive has become a solid service. It's available in the Files app and its greatest strength is its tight integration with iOS. It's also available in the Finder app on the Mac. If you haven't given iCloud Drive a, a test drive, it's really worth taking a look. If you find yourself tied on iCloud storage, you can go to the iCloud menu in Settings to figure out what is taking up the most space and manage the storage. You will find data from Apple's own apps, but also from third-party apps which use iCloud to sync data between devices. Now, be careful not to delete anything important, like photos, for example. But data from apps you don't use anymore may be good to get rid of, and sometimes you can find an extra backup you don't need. On the Mac, you can manage iCloud storage in the iCloud menu in the System Preferences app by clicking on the Manage option in the bottom right-hand corner of the window. Instead of trying to constantly manage your iCloud storage, it may be better to just get more storage. Honestly, the meager 5 gigabytes of free iCloud storage Apple gives you is far too small for just about everybody at this point. Upgrading your iCloud storage plan is almost a must these days. 
You can upgrade iCloud Storage on iOS by going to the iCloud menu and tapping Manage Storage. From here, there's an option to change or upgrade your storage plan. On the Mac, you can manage iCloud Storage in the iCloud menu in the System Preferences app by again clicking the Manage button on the bottom right of the window. And once you're here, you'll see an option in the top right hand corner that will let you change your storage plan. If you are tired of keeping up with all your passwords, or worse, if you use the same password everywhere, you need to take a look at iCloud Keychain. You can toggle iCloud Keychain on and off in iCloud Settings in iOS, and you can also find and manage your passwords in a dedicated section in the Settings app. On the Mac, the toggle option is in iCloud Settings in the System Preferences app, and passwords can be viewed and managed in Safari Preferences iCloud Keychain is a great way to manage your passwords and will help keep you secure online. You may be most familiar with using iCloud to back up and sync your contacts and calendar events between your Apple devices. You can toggle on and off the option to use iCloud to back up and sync both contacts and calendars in the iCloud menu in the Settings app. The same options can be found on the Mac in the iCloud menu in the System Preferences app. Apple added iCloud syncing to the Notes app a few years ago, and for most users, it's been rock solid. A toggle can be found for syncing notes, again in the iCloud menus in iOS and on the Mac. Once it's turned on, there is a dedicated iCloud section in the Notes app. Keep in mind that only notes in this section will be synced between devices. Safari data can be synced by making sure the Safari option is toggled on in iCloud settings. iCloud will sync your bookmarks across devices and if you view your current tabs, the bottom of the page will show all your open tabs synced through iCloud across your devices. This is a really handy way to pick up browsing later on right where you left off on another device. Apple provides you with a free iCloud email account when you create a new Apple ID. And while it's nowhere near Gmail as far as popularity, Many people do opt for iCloud email for privacy reasons. You can add your iCloud email address to the Mail app on iOS by toggling on the Mail setting in the iCloud menu. On the Mac, you will find a similar toggle in the iCloud menu in System Preferences. Reminders is a staple app on iOS and the Mac and uses iCloud to sync data across your devices. Similar to many of Apple's other apps, there is a toggle in the iCloud menu you need to make sure is on to have your reminders synced using iCloud. If you navigate to iCloud.com from a Mac or PC, you can access many of the features discussed in this video. Unfortunately, iCloud.com seems to often be forgotten, but it's handy to remember it's there and can really come in useful in a pinch. Last but certainly not least is Find My iPhone, which is an invaluable service which can help you locate a missing or stolen Apple device. There is a Find My iPhone app installed on your iOS device, and once you're signed into your Apple ID, you can track the location of all your Apple devices. You can also access Find My iPhone from a Mac by going to iCloud.com and Safari. Alright guys, I hope this video will help you take advantage of all the iCloud features that are available. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later!